That which gets measured gets done if you put action behind it. That's something I say a lot. And if you are listening to this podcast, which presumably you are, if you're hearing my voice right now, you realize that in the podcast I work hard to give actionable things that you can do to move your business acquisition program forward, even if I'm not mentoring you. So let's talk about that. One of the things you can do is to have yourself a weekly check-in. And you can come up with these, but what you basically want to do is say, okay, each week, what did I do and what were the results? So you might do things like this. How many discussions with prospects did you have in the last week? What was your biggest win in the last week? How was the intensity of your outreach this week? Meaning LinkedIn, calls, emails, etc. Are you experiencing problems? If so, what? And what do you need to do to correct them? <clears throat> if you have a board and a mentor, what do you need from that mentor? How can that mentor help you to be better at what you're doing and move that along? Think about this a little bit, not too much. How's your stress, mental and emotional health? How many hours of sleep on average do you get? A lot of people think, okay, I've got to work 120 hours a week. You can do that for periods of time, but eventually the wheels begin to come off. And then what was the effectiveness of the tools that you have, meaning your VA, virtual assistant, your board, your professionals, LinkedIn, Woodpecker, Instant Checkmate, all of those things. Did you use the tools that you have around you to get to where you need to get? And I'll give you an example from a mentor of mine. And this is what he was giving me, the, uh, the results for the last five days. So he put down the number of in-mails that he sent. He listed the number of responses that he got. He listed how many no's he got, how many want more information, how many were interested, how many he scheduled calls with, how many of those he actually did calls with, and then of those calls that he did, how many were interested, and then what were the force rankings of those, meaning of those that he had conversations with, how many did he think were good fits and for what area on his board? This is a person building his board. So think about that. He's measuring his output, he's measuring the results, and he is going to build a board among the fastest that I've seen, that I am sure of. So think about it again. Think about what it is you need to be successful, how you're going to move that needle, and then what you're going to do in terms of measuring your output and measuring your results. And that checklist that I read off, you can change those. Do that on a piece of paper, do it on a Google Doc or form uh, so that you can do it every week. But a weekly check-in for you with yourself would be good to be sure. If you are looking for how to get started, for instance, with board members, professionals, go over to brucewhipple.com, grab the... Uh, get class link, the, and you can basically find the conversation starters. So if you want to go over to brucewhipple.com, sign up for that free class. But if you want to go there directly, just go to brucewhipple.com forward slash get class, and you will get that. It's a PDF. It goes through some scripts involved, which should help you. One of the most important things is just to start, just to take the first step and then you can go from, from there forward. But taking the first step is important, and those conversation starters will let you do that. So remember to check yourself, remember to track your progress, remember to take action. All of the things that we talked about in this podcast and your success will usually be better than those who don't do those things.